Are you going to sit there all day and mope just because no pastors have come forward? I can't believe it. Not a single one. Not one. I mean, it's not exactly like I expected a massive turnout, but I certainly anticipated that the Lord would provide whoever we needed. Not one. Well, aren't you the one who always says that 95% of churches aren't even interested in anything outside of their four walls? Yes. But where's the other 5%? Two questions. Now, don't start <laughs> sounding like Maddie. Two questions. <laughs> First one, which is settle for 1%. Second, is thinking outside the box the same as thinking outside the four walls? What in the world are you talking about? <laughs> There's someone here to see you. And he's not from the Hall's reunion. As a matter of fact, I think he might be able to help. Well, bring him on in. May I introduce Rand Waller? Welcome, Pastor Rand Waller. Gina. Yes. Call Deacon Hall for me, please. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. You're getting ready to start something, aren't you? Oh, yeah. <sighs> Pastor Waller, I'm Lynn Jenkins. You can call me Ran. Great. Call me Lynn. Please have a seat. Sure. Thank you. Now, Ran, if we don't deal with the elephants in this room, I'm never going to be able to pay attention to a single thing you say to me. What elephants? At uh, the ones stuck in your ears. These things? At th those puppies, yes. That's awesome. I love it when that happens. I'll bet it happens often. <laughs> well, it does. So, I grew up in a traditional church. Uh -huh. I felt the call of God on my life. I went away to a traditional seminary. I learned how to preach, came back to my church. I preached the sermons they wanted me to preach. <laughs> Wait a minute. Well, I can tell you one thing. If they told me what to preach, I'd have been out of there. So what <laughs> happened with you? Well, um, I love the people in my church. Yeah. They're like family to me. I'll bet they are. But the youth? Running out the back door as fast as I could. You nailed it. So what happened then? It's hard to say this, but the Holy Spirit didn't even have room to work. Mm. There were so many traditions, there's no room left for Him. <laughs> so, point being, what good is it to have the traditions of men that make the adults happy, and we lose God's next generation? Just because the Holy Spirit isn't allowed in. You nailed it again. So, what'd you do? <laughs> I decided to ditch the suit and the tie. Yeah? And I went down to Walmart, I got my ears pierced. I know, kind of crazy. And then I went and bought some skinnies, and... There you be. There I am. <laughs> so, what was the effect on the church? Well, honestly, Lynn, half of them are threatening to leave. Uh-huh. My thought? That's probably a good thing. Mm. My second thought? I'll bet the youth will start coming back. We've seen that happen. Some of the youth are coming back, and we're excited because I really think more are going to come. That is awesome. I mean, that'll flat get me excited. Mm. All right. I may have to rethink the earring thing, you know what I mean? Doesn't mean I'm not going to have a lot of fun when old Deacon Hall gets here, mind you, but I guess I'm coming to have a new appreciation for him. But I have to ask, out of curiosity, mm -hmm. the, the half that's left, mm -hmm. where those folks stand? It's really awesome, Lynn. They're so excited about what God's doing in the church. They want to serve in the community. They want to be the church outside the four walls, and they want to focus on the youth. Now, that's my kind of thinking. Oh, thanks, Gina. Thank You're you. The best. Excuse me for overhearing or eavesdropping. 
but why don't you bring the other half over here? We have a project that we're working on and we could really use the help. Well, that's what I heard. That's, that's why I'm here. Go ahead, you won't bother me. As a matter of fact, I do have a proposal. Well, I'm listening. And evidently, so are other people. <laughs> really nosy people. Well, just up the road, a traditional church is looking to start a church plant. <laughs> Sorry. You and the earrings thinking about joining them? Well, I did give it some thought. But I think a better solution would be to encourage our traditional folks to go up and join them. So you mean don't let the doorknob hit them with a Gina. good... Gina! <laughs> you nailed it. I cannot get good help around here. I cannot get good help. Seriously, though, why not encourage them to go and worship in a place where they're going to feel welcome? And then the rest of us will stay and we will work in the community. We'll be the church outside the four walls and we can help with the project you want to do. Wow. Here comes Deacon Hall. Heads up, this deacon, he's wound a little tight. Around here we say he's a work in progress. Slow, slow progress. Good morning, Gina. Good morning. Well, I see we have company here today. Deacon Hall. May I introduce Rand Waller? How are you, Brother Waller? Nice to meet you. Ah, it's good to meet you. Wait for it. Wait for what? Wait for it. What? It's coming. What's coming? It's coming. Pastor Rand Waller. Oh, no. No, no. All right, I've reached my limit. Nope. Mm -mm. Wait, 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 wait. Come back here and fight like a man. <sighs> Seriously. Deacon Hall, before you pull the pin completely out of your grenade, you need to take a look at the final estimate for the repairs on this church. You know, first you, then a clown, now pastor earrings. Happy days, happy days. $175,000 for repairs? Where are we supposed to get this from? What are you looking at me for? You want my humble opinion? The old gal's beyond repair. What we need is a miracle. Well, we could be your miracle. I think we have a solution. Well, I'm certainly listening. We'd like to help build Jeremiah's house. Bam, there's your 1%. <laughs> Father, thank you and forgive this old gal from all her grumbling but I don't think it stops there. You see, if we help build Jeremiah's house, we're gonna lose half of our congregation. All the traditionalists are gonna leave. That means that we'll be left with a half empty building with extra resources, and we could share those resources. It could be a win-win. Well, certainly seems promising to me. Deacon Hall? You think this is something you'd be willing to bring up to the board? Well, if it'll keep us from having to pay $175,000 worth of repairs, I don't think we've got a choice. Well, there's our salute. Oops. What? What now? Mm, 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 mm. What? <clears throat> Does this mean Deacon Hall's gonna have to get his ears pierced? <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> that, that's not funny. He's melting. He's melting. <laughs> that's not funny. That's not funny. No. Mm -mm. It's not. No. 